President Trump's Supreme Court revamp is already paying him dividends with one of his picks, shielding a key cabinet secretary from testifying under oath about what documents appear to show was a lie. Here to explain all of this, we have CNN senior political analyst John Avalon with an important update to our reality check. John. That's right, Ali. So last night, the Supreme Court gave Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross a pass, allowing him to avoid testifying, at least for now, in a lawsuit over a 2020 census question amid overwhelming evidence that Ross misled Congress. Now, opponents say the question about citizenship was designed to depress responses from immigrant populations and therefore undercount residents to gain partisan advantage. Ross said it was all the Justice Department's idea, but as we told you in a recent reality check, emails brought to light in a lawsuit from the New York Attorney General show that this just isn't true. Ross discussed the census question with Steve Bannon and Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach. That would be Trump's one-time vote fraud czar now running for governor. Now, faced with that inconvenient truth, the Trump administration asked the Supreme Court to step in and block a lower court's order that Ross explained himself under oath. The court came through for Trump big time, shielding Ross from testifying. And the order was written by Trump's first Supreme Court pick, Neil Gorsuch. Now, the case will go forward. It's slated to begin November 5th, but without Wilbur Ross. But this case is about far more than one Trump cabinet member's honesty in front of Congress. It's about attempts to give Republicans an artificial edge in redistricting by undercounting undocumented immigrants in the census, despite a constitutional requirement that all residents, not just citizens, be counted. It's a pattern we're seeing in the midterms already. This past weekend, President Trump again raised the specter of voter fraud in a tweet, quote, all levels of government and law enforcement are watching carefully for voter fraud, including during early voting. Cheat at your own peril. Well, obviously, we all want fair, honest elections. But critics charged this was a fear-based attempt to suppress midterm turnout. After all, study after study has found that voter fraud is virtually non-existent, despite the president's repeated claims. But here's the good news. Redistricting reform is on the ballot in four states this November. Michigan, Colorado, Missouri, and Utah. The ballot initiatives in each state vary slightly, but they share the goal of ending the rigged system of redistricting, where politicians carve up seats in ways that often lead to intentionally unrepresentative results. For example, emails in a Michigan court case show Republicans in 2011 drawing the congressional lines to create a 9 to 5 majority regardless of the popular vote, while cramming what they called Dem garbage into four urban districts. Make no mistake, partisans from both parties have played this game. But there's a fix. Take redistricting from self-interested legislators in favor of independent commissions and statistic-driven models. Change the rules, and you change the game. So while the Supreme Court seems all too willing to shield a Trump cabinet member, Voters in four states will have a chance to unrig the system for themselves this fall. And that's your reality check.